Now, News 3 Sports with Megan Plain. Last week, we saw the Washington football team make NFL history when they became the first organization with a minority head coach, GM, and team president. Well, this week, they continue their historic run by promoting Jennifer King, who becomes the first black female full-time assistant coach in league history. When the Washington football team's Jennifer King received news that would cement her place in NFL history, she could have celebrated. But instead, it was business as usual. I mean, I was excited, but I was in the middle of working, you know, prepping for that week, and I kind of just went right back to work. <laughs> Washington was still in the midst of its 2020 season, after all, so King did have a game to prep for when she was told she'd be promoted to assistant running backs coach, a promotion that makes her the first African-American female in NFL history to become a full-time assistant position coach. A lot of us are in our positions because someone reached back for us or helped us along the way, and, and that's what they're doing. They're, they're realizing that they're, they're females capable of, of working in football at a high level. One of the many who have helped her along the way is Washington coach Ron Rivera, who gave King her first coaching role in the NFL as a Carolina Panthers intern during the 2018 and 2019 offseasons. After serving as a coaching intern for Washington in 2020, Rivera is the one who delivered the news that she'd become a full-time assistant coach. Every time I've increased her responsibilities, uh, she stepped up to the plate and has done a great job. And I think with this move, we're going to see uh, an even more competitive, uh, more uh, outgoing Jennifer King. Jennifer isn't the first female king to be crowned a trailblazer in sports. Billie Jean King, a tennis legend and activist, has a few congratulatory words of her own for her namesake. You will inspire generations of children because if you can see it, you can be it. I think it's really important right now to be a good representative of what I didn't have. You know, I, I couldn't look in the NFL and see anyone that looked anything like me uh, working. So um, to be able to see that, I think it's big. I think it's been a great few months for women just in general of things that have been accomplished. And it, it's so important for them to know that they're, they're strong and capable of doing whatever they want to do. As for King, what is it she wants to do as she sets her sights on future goals? We'll see. You know, right now I'm focused on how can we be better next year. <laughs> like her response to news of her historic promotion, it's business as usual. Now you're right, you might remember the history made when Washington lost to Tampa in the wild card round. Well, it was the first postseason game featuring female assistants on both teams. You'll get to see those Bucks coaches live right here on News 3 because we are your home for Super Bowl 55. Kansas City and Tampa Bay battle it out one week from this Sunday. So that should be a good game. And who predicted, <laughs> who predicted that it was going to be no, Tampa don't. Bay and the Chiefs last week? <laughs> Prop to Megan. I'm not going to guess again, though, because I want to go out a winner. So, Kurt, I'll let you take it from here, and maybe uh, we'll, we'll see how you do. See, she's oh, she's she going she turned out it on back top. on me. I, I just I want to go out a winner, you know? I don't want to ruin <laughs> what I have going. <laughs> Good well, it, it wasn't a surprise to pick the Chiefs, but that was a good call, Tampa Bay over Green Bay. So. It's going to be a great game, too, next oh, weekend. Yeah. All right, News 3 at 11. We'll be right back.